Hello, YouTube. It's your boy, HTJ, a.k.a. Taekwon Joe. Let's get into it. Multi-subs. That's what we're talking about today. So let's start off with a new subscriber. Thank you, at Colin Kennedy 4646 He hit us up with a question in the comments the other day. This is in reference to the clips R120SW. So he says, I bought a new stereo setup. Uh, and AV Onkyo RZ50 and added a pair of Klitsch RP602 speakers to go along with a pair of 8-inch university sound speakers, which sounds incredibly awesome for my old damaged ears. But I could detect I am missing a bit more on the low end, so I pulled the trigger on the Klitsch, Klitsch R120SW subwoofer, and I'm sure it will do the trick. But going off of what you were saying, the second one would would definitely be another world good. I am not one of those who are who will annoy the neighbors on purpose, but I can hardly wait to see my setup rain down asteroids. So we had a couple back and forths, and long story short, you guys know how I feel about sorry, let me find my camera. You guys know how I feel about multiple subwoofers. Let's get in real quick to the RP. Let's see. Make sure I get the model number right. The R120 SW. This is also the two subs that I have, but we're going to go more depth. Just give me a second. Let's talk about this sub a little bit. Okay, frequency response. We know how clips is. You can take minus uh, or plus three, three hertz more than likely. So they say this will go 29 hertz to 120 hertz, which 29 hertz, I don't know. All right, but it is a 200 watt continuous 400 watt peak power um, subwoofer. It's obviously 12 inches um, and it weighs 31 pounds, has multiple hookups on the back, has a, a volume low pass, zero, 180 degree phase, uh, excuse me, zero to 180 degree, degree phase, if I can spit that out, auto power on. Uh, they claim it's a 12 inch high excursion. Sorry, high excursion. <laughs> spun copper img woofer now um this is kind of what this channel was built off of honestly i own two of these subwoofers right now they're priced at clips for let's see here make sure i get this right 299 i believe right yeah they're on sale usually 500 dollars 299 each um 40 percent off so I bought both of my subs at separate times. Of course, this is uh, in previous videos, but to catch up. Separate times, both $500, but um, got them on sale for $250 each time. I bought them, you know, three or four months apart. It was some time apart, but sure enough, uh, a sale came up somewhere. So anyway, I'm always about somebody or anybody having a theater experience in their own home on a budget. Like, let's just be honest. I don't think this is exclusive to people with just bags of money laying around. And no shot to them. Good on you. If you have the money to sink 20, 30, 40, 100K into your home theater, good on you. But that's not what this community has ever been about. So second thing I want to talk about, I just wanted to gloss over what those uh, – what the specs are on that sub. I own two of them. Now I want to talk about two key things to these subs and um, Colin Kennedy and I kind of have had this little discussion back and forth um, about it. He is, I think going to pull the trigger on the second sub as well. Good for him. But I want to talk about the sub itself. Um, having two obviously is the best way to go because you're putting really layman's understanding in terms here. When that subwoofer kicks out whatever frequency it's it's giving you, this is a big disruptive sound wave that's going all through the room. It's hitting the other sound waves. It's doing all kinds of things. So the theory is, and I'm sure it's been proven to be true through all the data and studies, when you, when you add a subwoofer to another subwoofer, you actually balance out those very disruptive large sound waves that are just cascading through the room. So there is the science behind having two subs, not, but, and to my ear, to my experience, it did level out the base. Um, so the lesson here is yes, you can get decent sound for $250, $300 sub. <laughs> okay. Um, I myself in, in the, in the setup that we have here, 
the subs are in front. They are next to the uh, uh, two front speakers, but they are. I would prefer, excuse me, getting ahead of myself. I would prefer my subs to be behind me. That's just a preference thing, um, but we're going to get there. So having the two subs is a great thing. Now we've added one sub to one sub. What about our placement? Pretty simple. Put them in the corners. If you can, put them behind you. We'll get there. Two subs drastically increases, in my opinion, the listening experience. Now, if we could go one step beyond there, where will we go now, guys? Where will we go to all my home theater Joes that know where I'm going with this and have heard me say it a hundred times? Whether you have one or two subs, preferably two, put them on sub stands. Get them off of the floor. I don't care what kind of feet are on them, how many feet are on them, and where they're placed. They are going to be coupled to the floor if they are sitting on the floor. So my recommendation not only is the multiple subs, but let's get those subs off the floor on some sub stands. And that, again, will increase what I would think, or to me, is the, um, the, the listening experience. I guess in, in my terms, I would say the bass came from off of the floor into the room and um, wouldn't have it any other way. Now, I did say about putting bass uh, or subwoofers behind you. That's my preferred location. I was not willing to do that here because this is concrete slab and I can't drill under and get it there. So anyway, um, how are we going to, oh man, it's going to take a long cable, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not, man. I'm going to tell you what your best option is, sorry, for your subwoofer cable. Listen, and I can go more in depth in this if you guys want. Just let me know in the comments section, and I will uh, make a, I guess, a tutorial on how to make your own sub cable woofer, uh, sub woofer cables. Excuse me. Um, the goal is here is to be able to transmit these these heavy signals through wire. So this is the RG six um, uh, coaxial cable wire. So if you have yourself, um, and obviously it comes with these connectors here but that won't work for, work for your subwoofer so you get your little rg6 connector all right you buy yourself some uh different plugs that will uh different male plugs that will plug right into the subwoofer and now you can transmit this this uh all this information this low-end information flawlessly to your subwoofer and if you're making your own cable this is just 25 feet here but you know, what I did in the previous theater was drill a hole through the floor, run the cable underneath um, the home and drill, you know, obviously through another hole in the back of the room to put those subwoofers behind us. And, oh, it's just a it's just an amazing experience when the subwoofers are behind you. That's all I can say. I love it. Doesn't even have to be closed field. I'm not even talking subwoofers that are like right behind your seat. Um, but for me, having the subwoofers behind you is is preferred as i've said so uh again you can you can spend a bunch of money going and buying this high-tech subwoofer cable whatever or you can make it yourself okay um because you i'm sure you guys know you you don't want to you can't use like a 12 gauge 14 gauge wire to but you that's not doing you any good no 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 you need to send that I, i've already said it. i'm rambling but these are just the things i wanted to point out and talk about real quick because we have a new subscriber. We've been talking about this in the uh, comment section. I thought, what what a time. I mean, it might as well bring it up now. Might as well remind the community where I stand on subwoofers and uh, the best way to set them up. So, like I said, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to make that cable um, and do those runs, let me know. We could probably work something out. Other than that, uh, I do appreciate y'all uh, listening and Let's hear your experience. I want to know what, what do you guys have in your theater? One sub, multi-subs, two or more. Do you have them on sub stands? And what cable are you running to your, um, to your subs from your processor, AV, whatever you're using? So uh, anyway, that'll do it, uh, I think, for this one. Uh, if you've gotten thus far, thank you for listen listening. Appreciate it, as always. And if you have any comments. Good, bad, or different. Go ahead, put them right down there below. Uh, yeah, always remember, like and subscribe.
I guess that'll do us. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs>